Hey, hey, this is Jonathan Pasley. And in this video, I want to drop some knowledge bombs. <laughs> um, hopefully this is helpful for you if you're a property management company or you're a property manager, you own a property management company and you're running Google ads, Google advertising, whether you're running it yourself or uh, you have another company running it. I want to tell you something that I think will definitely help you that a lot of people don't know. So uh, one of our clients, you know, right now, time is all about goal setting and hitting the targets and setting the targets for the rest of the year. So one of our clients who's been with us for about three, four years now, uh, we had a conversation and uh, looking at the new goals for the year. And he was like, well, Jonathan, as far as the ad campaign that we're running right now, um, can we get even more results from what we're getting? So just to give you some context, like in the last 30 days, we got about 77 leads. Uh, last 30 days it's really 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 dialed dialed in like we've spent a lot of time over the in the last three four years getting things dialed in so the quality is there as far as the leads go the cost per lead is drastically lower than what the market uh is paying <laughs> uh so it's really really dialed in and he was saying hey can we get more leads you know from what we're looking to you know here's the goal what we're trying to you know hit for this year you know how can we get there and um so in analyzing this campaign um and just really dialing dialing in, dialing into the numbers, the data and things like that, dialing into the leads. I told him, I was like, we're, we're at, we're at that ceiling. <laughs> There's not much more we can get from this campaign. And you know, our client, my client's solution was like, Hey, can we just spend more money? I'm like, no, there's a diminishing return from where we are right now. If we spend more money, Google's going to take our money, <laughs> but we're not going to get much more results from the added budget just the cost per lead is going to go up uh, and you might get just a few more leads but um, it's just not going to be as efficient as what we're running right now uh, so it actually doesn't make sense to just spend more money we need to maintain flight con continually optimize and tweak the campaign and make shifts based on the market and the time of the year and things like that but i wouldn't suggest spending more money now that's much different than some other companies. Some other companies were like, "Yeah, spend more money, spend more money," but no, I'm like, that's not gonna result in more results, more leads, more doors. So uh, just remember this: if you're running a an ad campaign, whether it's yourself or if a company you're running it, there there's a there's a point, there's a kind of a, a ceiling or a sweet spot where you want to spend the right amount of money. Um, and you don't want to pass that point of diminishing return where you're just spending money and the cost per lead is going up, but you're not getting any more results, any more leads uh, from what you're spending. And every market's different. I've seen in some smaller markets, the tap out is like $1,500 to $2,000 uh, per month to get to that point where you're at a good cost per lead. You're, you, you might be getting, I don't know, it might be, 15 leads per month or whatever. It depends on the market, right? Um, but you want to hit that sweet spot. And then again, spending more money isn't going to result in more more leads or more um, more leads. So hopefully that was helpful. Now, for our client, we said, okay, we've maxed out ads. We're running ads. We're on Google. We're on big. The next thing to do is double down, triple down on SEO, of which we've been working on. But now, really go all in on SEO. So now we're going through website redesign, recoding the site, making it Google compliant, uh, making sure it loads quickly in mobile and desktop, creating all the pages we need to create. Oh, I mean, just going all in <laughs> uh, for SEO. Uh, SEO is an art form uh, too as well. So uh, just increasing ranking. So now, uh, not only we can have the ads dialed in, but also SEO, start getting the rankings and ranking for the different areas um that we're we're targeting so that's marketing it's like a spider web we got to stack the strategies and uh so they can all work together and so you can build that momentum and um help you grow help you acquire some more doors so that's kind of the next steps for our client so hey hopefully this video was helpful for you again if you're running an ad campaign there is a point of diminishing return where it's, where the solution is not always just throw money at it that's just not always the solution. Got to be efficient. 
uh, in uh, creating the campaign, managing the campaign, optimizing, tweaking it, looking at the results, looking at the data, looking at the leads that are coming in. You know, uh, it's it's I can go on forever about it. So I don't want to make this video too long because then you wouldn't watch it. So <laughs> if uh, you're a property manager, you run a property management company and you want to acquire more doors, you want to generate more quality property owner leads, feel free uh, to reach out to me and my team. Go to my website, Jonathan Pasley dot com check us out watch some videos there read more about me my team fill out the contact form on there there's a video i created for you just for you uh that walks you through our strategies results for clients like i actually go through like the actual campaigns you can see results and um pricing of course everybody wants to know price too as well that's there and then if you feel like we're a good fit feel free to schedule time on my calendar for us to talk it's that simple <laughs> Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Have a good one. See you on the next video.